Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement with having. When a man has done something illegal or immoral and people are starting to recognize that he has caused them to be aiding and abetting their abuse of someone, he usually starts to backpedal. He usually starts to change his position and he usually starts to attack the people that he got to help him. The solicitations of police officers is something that is completely, utterly, and constantly in the news today. What that says to me is that somewhere along the lines, somewhere along the way, there was something that happened during training of police that failed to operate in a re relatively good line. Where they failed was to not outline the Human Rights Declaration Treaty that has been signed by the United Nations. Additionally, they failed to recognize that our presidents of old actually participated in outlining that whole plan. It covers many aspects of the infractions and violations that police and other people in America are practicing on their own time against people that they should have no rights to at all in this lifetime. Federal law protects many things. Amendment law is something that really protects a lot of our lives and a lot of the things that we're worried about most in the daily aspect of our life. Other United States national laws impact almost every single industry that is out there today. Every single profession, every single career has a benchmarking option. A benchmarking option means you study your competition, you study all the other people working in your industry, and you determine what are the best standard operating procedures, the best quality procedures, the best data procedures, the best technology procedures, the best morale procedures, and literally the best service procedures of that delivery of that product or service, and you try to implement them, not all at one time, but over the course of time, so that your company, your organization, your team gets higher, grows faster, and goes longer in life. The challenge we have today is keeping people employed, apparently in the real estate industry, not at all, but in the retail industry. The retail industry is out loud and not proud about anything at all today. The retail industry is literally losing its customers quite a lot because of online ordering and how you can shop from home and get things delivered right to your doorstep. But there is risks to that doorstep delivery and that mailmen and even delivery men and even UPS men and whatnot sometimes steal deliveries along with people who are here from foreign lands who are not accustomed to our laws at all because they've come here illegally they are staying here immorally and they're producing children that will eventually lead them in some way to citizenship, which is somewhat rather, well, unethical for most professional people of the day. Because American citizens are becoming unwilling to do some of the most important jobs of the world that we have in American soil. You see, farming, animal husbandry, and restaurant touring are some of the best jobs that we have to produce our families today. And what I'm explaining about that is that if you're not willing to serve someone food, if you're not willing to clean up a mess, then you really are probably a child at heart and still someone who at very best is not doing things correctly today. At the present moment, I'm being stared down by a bumblebee, which is marvelous to see because of the fact that they're literally becoming almost extinct. But it's also an un humbling matter because there's always a liar in the land who's hovering around me trying to pretend that they're something to me, and they're not. They are liars of America. They are bastards of Satan, and they don't have one right to talk about my life. When I tell these stories, people don't get it because they're not me. They're not living my life, but there is a bitch on wheels that's always trying to monstrously come near my life. And I've told that woman a hundred times, stay the hell away from me. I'm not in your family. I'm not in your religion. I am not in your church. I'm not in your organization. And while I'm welcoming and kind to most people, I will not tolerate someone interfering with my lethal, legal rights, just as you will not tolerate someone interfering with your lawful rights. Because if you allow that for someone else, someone else can easily do exactly the same thing to you. And that is an abomination to the Lord. When I talk about God, I talk about it from a pagan perspective. When I talk about humanity, I talk about it from the real daily living perspective. Everyone in this world has to produce some sort of living. How I make my living, how I make my earnings, how I make my not-for-profit dollars is none of your business. Just like how you make your living, how you make your earnings, how you make your revenue for your business is none of my well, business. It's actually nonsense. None of your business is something we say a lot in the community, but when people are out and about and they're not doing the right thing, when they're lying to themselves about their rights to commandeer bodies, sexually assault them, and do all sorts of other improper things to their legal records just because they are monstrous bastards in the, in the retail industry and they failed their lives according to their own rules of life, not to my rules of life, because we're still going to need these places. 
people like to put their hands on new vended products. They want to see how it looks, how it feels, and they don't want to get caught up in having to buy things and send them back because they're not the right size and all that. But maybe we need a few less of those establishments. But here's what I'm going to tell you. When you participated in a bastardized view of your life in relation to my life or anyone else's life, and that you took over a stranger's life and you did things to a stranger's life, you will end up in jail. You do not have the lawful right to do one thing like that to anyone ever in this lifetime. 